Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars of Utah's Weekly Star Wars Recap for March 22nd, 2021. So yeah, we got some uh, Dirge news to talk about. Um, multiple things, but before I get into all that on the news, gotta jump into new releases, which um, I thought there was going to be a lot more coming out this week, but... There's only one, which is Bounty Hunters Issue 10. I haven't gone around to reading that yet. But, um, I, I thought new High Republic short story was going to come out, but I guess that got delayed till later this month. Um, at least the, uh, Star Wars Insider digital version didn't come out, so I couldn't read it. But, uh, yeah, a anyways, jumping into stuff that comes out this week, there's Dr. Half Issue 8, which come out March 24th, and Star Wars Adventures Issue 4. Will also come out March 24th. I thought that was also coming out last week, but I guess it's maybe coming out this week. The IDW comics are, you know, get delayed all the damn time. But, uh, anyways, let's jump into the news. Um, starting off with the first story about, um, several older, uh, Star Wars, I guess, movies slash series will be coming to, uh, Disney Plus on April 2nd, 2021, which will include the two Ewok movies. Um, Caravan of Courage, and Ewoks, The Battle for Endor, and uh, also the two seasons of the Ewoks animated show will also be releasing. I've never seen the Ewok movies or watched the animated show, so I, you know, I might make some videos on them, but um, also releasing is um the story of the fateful Wookiee, which was the animated part of the uh, Star Wars Holiday Specials special. Which, um, this animated part was what first introduced Boba Fett in the Star Wars. So, yeah, um, kind of weird that they're only releasing this part of it and not just the full holiday special. My best guess is maybe they don't have the rights to, uh, everything else, but I don't know. But the thing what everyone's probably the most excited for is that is, uh, volume one and two of the, uh, I believe it was like 2000. Three, the five uh, Star Wars Clone Wars animated series, um, which uh, is cool. It's been forever since I've watched it, and I don't really remember a whole lot uh, about it. I might not even watched all of it, but um, it was definitely over ten years ago, and I watched it on like YouTube. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll probably one hundred percent definitely be doing a review of um. Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, but, you know, like I said at the start, um, a character who was introduced in the uh, series uh, named Dirge, a, he's a bounty hunter and whatnot, uh, he will be uh, returning into the Star Wars canon in uh, the new uh, comic uh, crossover series of War of the Bounty Hunters. Or War, yeah, War of the Bounty Hunters. Um, In the... um. June issue of Dr. Hafra, which is uh, issue 11, so yeah, but also there's a bunch of other comics for June also, which I'm going to get into all that now, uh, which is six new issues from Marvel, two new omnibuses from Marvel now, it's in four new uh, issues from IDW, uh, which starting off with the Marvel stuff, and there's a War of the Bounty Hunters issue one. Junior and my trust with our by Luke Cross will come out June 2nd, 2021. Which the description of that says, um, at war for the greatest prize of all, Han Solo, the hunt begins. Nobody steals from Boba Fett. And the notorious bounty hunter will not stop until he gets what gets what's rightfully his. For the thief, no corner of the galaxy is safe. Good thing for them that the Rebel Alliance, the Empire, and every bounty hunter in the galaxy is standing in Boba's way. With the last page reveal, I will blow this Death Star size story wide open. Issue 1 is just the beginning. The biggest crossover in Star Wars history will continue racking through the pages of the War of the Bounty Hunters event miniseries and die in to Star Wars, Dr. Alpha, Darth Vader, and Bounty Hunters through October. Only one hunter will be left standing, and the Star Wars galaxy will never be the same. So yeah, and then the uh, next issue coming out is uh, Bounty Hunters issue 13, which will be run by Ethan Sachs of Art by Pelo Villanueva, and will come out June 9th, 2021, and the description that says, The Wookiee always wins. Hot on the trail of Boba Fett, Valance, and Dengar run into a rather large 
obstacle, the mighty Chewbacca. Will Tonga escape the trap set by a mysterious organization out to upend the underworld? And who is the figure in the shadows hunting them all? And then uh, Star Wars issue 14, which will be written by uh, Trussell with art by R Raymond Rosanis. Uh, that will come out June 16th, 2021. The says, uh, War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. The Rebels finally have a lead on the location of Han Solo. It's time to save the captain of the Millennium Falcon from his frozen carbonite tomb. A general, a Jedi, and a Wookiee will mount a desperate rescue mission, but they have no idea what actually awaits them. And then uh, Darth Vader issue 13, which will be from by uh, Greg Pak and have art by um, um, Jewy Villanova. I don't know how to pronounce the name, and I'm sorry, but uh, shall come out June 23rd, 2021. In the description that says, Dark Lord vs. Dark Droid. Darth Vader and Ochi of Bestoon embark upon a search for the carbonite frozen body of Han Solo. Get ready for intrigue, betrayal, and action in the heart of Hut Space with the explosive reappearance of everyone's favorite assassin droid, IG-88, and a shocking cliffhanger brings the shadows to life. It's kind of interesting that uh, Ochi of uh, Bestoon's going to still be in the series. I wasn't expecting that, but I, you know, I kind of like it. But and then... Issue you've been waiting for, uh, Dr. Hafer issue 11, which will be run by Lisa Wong of Art by um, Minky Young. It will come out June 30th, 2021. And the description that says, Mysteries abound aboard a dirge aged ship. Well, pun, I guess. Uh, Dr. Afra and Son of Stars discover an eerie abandoned ship while on a new mission from Dominia Tag. But on board, they come to face to face with a nightmare horror not seen in the galaxy for untold eons and then there's the fearsome bounty hunter dirge so yeah don't know how we will be uh, playing a part in the uh story but the cover art does show him so yeah anyways that's uh it for the uh war of the bounty hunters stuff there's some uh i was a new high republic issue from marvel uh, issue six which will be run by Kevin scott with art by uh, uh georges uh Jinky. Uh, I also don't know how to his name, but uh, he'll come out June 30th, 2021. In the description for that says, um, Heart of the Drunk Gear, the Republic Frontier in Crisis. The Jedi of Starlight Beacon join forces with their most feared enemy that face the terror of the unstoppable Drunk Gear. Uh, Horde. Uh, Avar Chris and her new allies fight nightmarish creatures on a harsh lava world. Can young Jedi Keeve trying to save her former master from the darkness? And who or what is the great progenitor? Uh, so yeah, um, Lava World, wonder if he uh, must have far, but I don't know. Uh, but then um, some stuff from IDW. There will be um, Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Issue 5, which will come out in June. Also a High Republic Adventures free comic book day uh, 2021 issue, which will come out August 14th, uh, free comic book day, which uh, both those issues will be written by Daniel Jose Walter with art by Harvey uh, Talabeo. Um But also coming out, I don't know if these will come out in June or what, but uh, Star Wars Adventures issue 10 and uh, Adventures Weapon of a Jedi issue 2. Uh, the Adventures stuff has been delayed a lot, so don't know when those will come out, but uh, anyways, and the uh, two on the buses. Um, first, I'm talking about this a uh, couple weeks ago a uh, Star Wars Darth Vader Dark Lord of the Sith by uh, Charles Soule. I'm beginning an omnibus, and that'll come out uh, September 29th, 2021, and it will collect uh, issues 1 through 25 in the Darth Vader Annual 2 of the Darth Vader Dark Lord of the Sith series. So yeah, and that's cool. I believe it's at a, it's like six hundred some pages. Pages will cost a hundred um, U.S. dollars. So yeah. Um, but anyways, the next on the bus is a, another uh, Star Wars Legends on the bus, and I don't know, a Rise of the Sith, and will also come out September 29th, 2021. I believe this was a hundred and twenty five dollars and like a thousand some pages, but it collects a lot of stuff. Um, from various series, uh, is uh, the G or Jedi the Dark Side issues one through five, Qui Gon and Obi Wan the 
Orient expressed uh, issues one two. Qui Gon and Obi Wan last stand on Ord Mantell. I didn't write the issue numbers. I believe it was two issues. Um, Jedi Council Acts of War issues one through four. Star Wars uh, nineteen ninety eight issues uh, zero through six. Darth Maul two thousand issues one through four. And then a uh, episode one the Phantom Menace. Um, Issue half and then issue one through four. Um, and then episode one, Anakin Skywalker. Episode one, Queen Amidala. Episode one, Qui Gon Jinn. And episode one, Obi Wan Kenobi. And then material from uh, Star Wars Tales, issues one, three, five, seven, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, and twenty four. So yeah, um, I haven't read any of that, so I don't know what. If it's any good, but it seems like it'll be kind of like the lead up to the Phantom Menace and obviously Phantom Menace uh, stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, that'll be it for this week's uh, week of Star Recap. Next week, I'll be talking about something. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, you can check out all my other stuff and whatnot. But uh, I've been Star you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. We clowns. Feelings about the war. Without it, we wouldn't exist. All part of the plan.